Components are amazing feature of Adobe XD and they are really going to help you expand your workflow. They are really going to help you organize your workflow and they're really going to help expand your creativity even more because inside of a single component you can have multiple states, you can have multiple options, multiple looks and feels for your particular component. So if we go back to Adobe XD, here we have the button which we created in the previous video and what I can do is hit Control or Command K and I'm going to create a component and it's going to show up right here. What you can also do is if I go back, you can click right here, you can click here to create a component, same like we did for the character styles and for the colors. And finally, when you select it, you can also click right here to add a component. So basically here, here, or you can always use Control or Command K on your keyboard to create a component. What we have right here, if I zoom in just a little bit closer, is this green diamond at the corner. That green diamond indicates that this is the default state. So default state is basically a starting state for your component. Let's say that this button is going to just sit like this on your website. Perhaps you're going to have inactive state, which means that you cannot click on that button. Maybe you're going to have the hover state, which means that user actually hovered their mouse over that button. And then you're going to have clicked state to indicate that the user actually selected that button. You can do all of that in a single component. You just have to add those states and then activate them later when you start with prototyping. So in this default state, this is just basically a random button just sitting there and it's going to show you this green diamond. If you have instance of your component, so if I hold my Alt key and change it like this, if I select this, you can see this is the filled in diamond. And if I select this, you can see it's hollowed out diamond. So what that means is instances of your main component are basically like uh, parents and children. That's how they called it actually. So this top component is actually our parent component it's created first, so it kept all of the original settings, it's kept the size, it kept the font style inside, it kept the colors, it kept the rounded corners, all of these things it kept inside, while this bottom co uh, component and a child component actually, it has all of these settings, but if I click right here, and actually let's change this to learn more now, you can see it updates in real time. As you can see, productivity tip, you can create components that resize automatically with padding. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. But this is the parent component. This is the child component. So basically, whatever change you are doing in the parent component is going to show up in a child component, but it's not going to show the other way around. So for example, if you change the color inside of a child component and then try to update it to the parent component, it's not going to work. It's just going to work from parent to child. So if I double click right here to access it like so, so if I show you that in just a second, so if I go into my uh, parent component, double click right here, and if I, for example, go back to here, for some reason it won't allow me, yeah, here we go. So if I round my corners, you can see how it looks, but if I do the same thing in a child component, as you can see, it's not going to show up in a parent component because once again, this is the child component. Same thing about changing color, same thing about uh, changing the text, but just remember when you're creating these components, parent and child components, uh, whatever uh, change you make in your child component, it's going to stay fixed inside of that child component and it's not going to apply to the parent component. What that means is if I did this, for example, and now I go back to here, if I try to resize it, it's not going to work because I already resized it right here. But if I want to move it, it's going to move. If I want to scale it in size, it's going to work. So any change that you didn't make in your child component, it's going to work in parent component. But any change that you did make, like in this case, we changed it uh, uh, we change the corner radius to s this big corner radius, it's not going to work inside of a parent component. So these are just things that you need to know. Finally, let me show you states. So as I said, this is our uh, parent component and this is our default state. What you can do is click on this plus to add a state. 
it's going to show you new state so depending on what you want to do we have new state we have hover state which obviously is for the hover state and we have a toggle state which is great if you're creating these toggles inside of your ui design so in the new state what i can do in this case is create this uh, inactive active clicked uh, deleted so all of these states for example for this particular button and inside of a hover state i can always create a hover state you cannot have multiple hovers you can just have one but you can have multiple states so if i click on the new state what i can do is call it for example clicked and inside of a click state what i can do is change this color to this color for example so now if I switch between my default state and my click state, you can see how they look like. So if I now add a hover state, call it hover. And inside of my hover state, for example, I just want to include some ridiculous drop shadows. So 20, 20 and 20 like this. This is the default state, this is the click state, this is the hover state. So what you need to do now is hit prototype. And I'm not going to show you that right now. I'm going to show you that in a later lesson. But for now, you can always hit preview right here. This is your desktop preview. And when you hover, you can see how that works. So this is your hover state and you can obviously change even more by going into settings inside of your prototype and then changing the duration of these hover effects, the duration of these transitions and all of these things. And basically that's it for your components. As you can see, it's quite simple when you get your hands around it, when you get the grips, just remember whenever you are duplicating your component and creating parent and child components, just remember whatever change you're making in your parent components is going to update throughout your child components. So if once again, I hold alt and create, I don't know, four different components, for example, and I click right here and I change it to plain gray, you can see it's going to update through all of them. But if I click on this one, for example, change it to play gray, it's just going to update on that one. And if I, for example, make these round, it's just going to update on that particular one. But if I, for example, change this learn more today, it's going to update everywhere because even in this child component, I didn't change the color. So basically that's it for the components. In the next video, we're going to talk about 3D in Adobe XD. It's not massive. It's not going to give you these massive possibilities, but it's going to allow you to do some interesting things here and there. So I'll see you there.